Eagle Eye News. Please rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Students, mark your calendars. There will be no late start Monday, May 18th or Monday, June 1st. May 25th is a holiday for Memorial Day. Don't forget to pick up any leftover art projects in the ceramics room by the end of the day today. The kiln room is being cleared out and any old projects will be removed. Are you interested in running cross country next fall? If so, please meet in the blue team hallway in room C119 after school on Wednesday, May 20th for a quick 15 minute meeting. This is for both boys and girls teams. See Coach West or Coach Shepard if you cannot attend. Last Friday was pretty eventful here at Lakes. The morning started off with students arriving to cars parked sideways and toilet paper everywhere, courtesy of this year's senior prank. A big shout out to the Lakes janitorial staff for cleaning all of that up. Students then attended the Celebration Day Assembly to honor members of the 2015 graduating class. Some of the honors were Eagle Scholar athlete Ryan Mullen Ericateri, 12 sport athlete to Jake Ballou, and most outstanding athlete to Jake Ballou and Danielle Griesbaum. Congratulations to all the winners. Last night, Lakes' band members put on an awesome show in the auditorium. Great job to all the performers. Now let's throw it over to Tommy with sports. <laughs> Hey Eagles, I'm Tyler Lee with Sports. We'd like to send a huge shout out to the bass fishing team for taking two representatives to state this week. Boys baseball has received the first seed in the sectional and will be facing either Chicago Northside or CISS Northtown. The softball team destroyed Grant on Tuesday, 2-0. Boys volleyball took down Zion Benton in a close game. Don Silbrick had 24 kills in the, in the win. The girls soccer team defeated Glenbrook North on senior night. Nicole D'Ambrose had a hat-trick while Maya Schmidt scored the game-winning penalty kick. Great job to the Allied soccer team, who took down Stevenson 4-3 last night. Now we'll send it over to the anchors. Twitter and Instagram at Lakes EEN for more updates. If there's anything you feel should be on EGI News, visit lakestudentmedia.com and click announcement request at the top of the page. Submit your idea for a chance to see your request aired on a future broadcast. I'm Taylor Larson. And I'm Colton Jewell. Thanks for watching, Eagles. See you next week for our final episode of the year.